Dude, this Dimi Pais resort is the bomb. But maybe it's blowing up a little too much because this water is a little hot, don't you think? Nah, dude. You just gotta relax, bro. This is how they do it in Honduras. Yeah, you're probably right. It's fine, I guess. Today, I will be reviewing Dimi Pais Spicy Shrimp fa Flavor Ramen Noodle Soup. It's, uh, it's ramen in a, in a cup. I think it's based on the Dimi Pais. I assume it's Hispanic brand. We'll see. There isn't, uh, you know, much to the packaging here. So let's get into uh, the nutrition. So the nutrition facts. 270 calories, 14% total fat, 60% sodium. This is a salty boy. This is straight from the salt mines. Straight out of League of Legends or something. Anyway, 15% for total carbohydrate. 6 grams of protein. So it's not bad. It's not that bad outside of the 60% sodium. This is a, this is quite salty. Alright, the instructions are on the top here. Lift the lid halfway and empty the contents of the envelope. Fill with boiling water to completely cover the noodles. Close lid and let stand for 3 minutes. Remove cap, mix well, and enjoy. I was hoping this would be microwave and not require me to do stuff. Although... Uh, how difficult could boiling water be? Uh, <laughs> hopefully not too hard. Uh, however long it takes to boil water and then three minutes and then remove cup. So this, this shouldn't be too bad, assuming I can boil water, which uh, is an assumption. Okay, so this is the inside of it. It's, uh, it's ramen noodles. And then there's this little packet thing. This sauce is actually quite hard. It is not very uh, malleable. I guess it's a little malleable. Okay, what's what do I do? Do I empty this in here? I think so. Okay. All right. It was just a flavor packet, and it was packed in there pretty pretty tight. It smells. Oh, what does that smell? Parsley-ish. I don't know. It it's, it smells strongly of of some sort of seasoning. Oh, what is it? What is that smell? Oh, it's probably oregano. I'm gonna go boil water be back. Hopefully I don't burn myself. I have returned with the food. I don't know that this camera angle is actually as superior as I think it is, but here's the meal. It's ramen noodles. Uh, boiling it wasn't that actually... Yeah. Boiling it wasn't actually that bad. It's, you know, it's ramen noodles. It is what it is. It looks pretty much just like ramen noodles. It smells like ramen noodles. It does have a little bit of a... Well, a little bit of the flavor packet smell from before. The, like, uh, I don't know, oregano, parsley-ish. It's not nearly as strong. It's probably been a little over the three minutes that I, I said because I, uh, I was doing something while I waited. But let's have a taste and see, see what it's like here. So it's okay. I don't directly taste the salt, but I think I can, like, tell that it's quite salty. The noodles are actually cut up. I think they're pre-cut up into really small strands, or relatively small strands. So it's a little different than uh, than some other ramen where the, the noodles will be really long and you can get a, a whole bunch of it at once. This, you just get a little little bit here. I think I can tell that there's salt on it. The, uh, the spicy shrimp bit flavor... So far, no hint of shrimp. No hint of shrimp. I don't... I Look, I can't really tell that there's shrimp. It's just sort of a generic flavored ramen. It kind of tastes like generic ramen flavoring. I don't know that I'd really be able to tell this apart from like a chicken flavored one. Like if, if I was going in with a blind test and you were to ask me which one was the chicken one and which one was the, uh, the shrimp one without me having had either first... I, assuming that the chicken is like this, uh, based on my previous experiences with ramen, probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Well, okay, no, they probably would have different flavors, but I probably would just be randomly guessing which one's chicken and which one's shrimp. Also, spicy. It says spicy. It's not spicy. It maybe has a little bit of spicy, but you can barely tell. Uh, I guess it does. You can sort of feel it around your mouth a little bit, but it's 
it's like the minimum amount of spicy that you need to include spicy. It's really not that spicy. It is kind of salty. Oh, we found our first vegetable. Look at it. Look at this tiny vegetable. Yeah, this just tastes like cheap ramen. The the shrimp is... Uh, I guess it does, it does have a little bit of kick with the, uh, the the heat, which is nice. The noodles are well; they're they're submerged in water as I'm eating them, so they're they're obviously hydrated. But they're so I think there's so much salt that it it do, they don't feel like soggy or anything. It's it's kind of weird. Yeah, might as well be salt water because I'm getting thirsty. Ooh. There, there isn't really much going on. It's just ramen noodles. The like, like, like for what this is, it's really not stand out. Slightly spicy. Can't really tell that uh, that it's shrimp flavored. It it does have flavoring. It's not just plain, and that's it's pretty salty. Uh, what is, what does it have as some of its primary ingredients? Monosodium glucamate. Oh, salt, salt too. Uh, the, the, the orangish red thing was a carrot part. It's got chili, onion, garlic, artificial shrimp flavor, parsley, oregano. Probably the artificial shrimp flavor is what this tastes like. It's fine, but it's not stand out at all. This is not at all stand out. Assuming you can boil water, water though, it's quite easy to make. Overall... I don't know that there's much else I can say about this. It's just cheap ramen. I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. I think it's decent. I assume This better have been cheap. This is a filler meal. It's so salty that I think you probably would, like, you, you get the salt craving and just want to eat more. But I, I don't think it's actually, like, it's not amazing. But it is good for, for, for cheap ramen. This is solid. It, ignore that it's shrimp flavor. The the hot is nice, but it's not really that hot. It's it's absolutely nothing compared to that Korean hot ramen I had once. Just ignore the fact that it's got carrots. It might as well not have the carrots. Uh, it's got a, a like a, a salty ramen flavoring taste that I think is a little unique, but it kind of tastes like all the other flavored ramen uh, cheap that you can get. So, yeah. 6 out of 10, it's decent, it does what it, uh, I don't know that it actually does what it says it's do, does, because it, it doesn't really taste like shrimp to me, but, uh, the artificial shrimp flavoring is, you know, I don't know if, uh, if that's really that shrimpy, but, hey, it is what it is, cheap, cheap, uh, cheap ramen, and it, I, oh, I guess the texture and feel. Mm. So it's it's sweet noodles. They uh, they're very hydrated because they're in they were they're sitting in hot water. They very easily break down in your mouth. It, you, you chew, they just basically dissolve. The the texture is a little strange. I mean it's it's fine, but maybe slightly papery. I don't know if that's that's right, but it's it's a ramen noodle texture. But it's uh, reminds me of like a lower quality ramen noodle texture. I don't know. It's a cheaper, I guess. Maybe not lower quality. It's fine, though. It sort of dissolves in your mouth. I'm, I'm feeling the salt, though. It is quite salty, and it's uh, ever so slightly hot. I, I think I'm just repeating myself a bunch of times here, because there really isn't much else going on here. So, thank you for watching. This is Dimi Pice Spicy Shrimp Flavor instant soup with ramen noodles and vegetables vegetables i think maybe they had like a fourth of a small carrot in here and it's a product of honduras so cool thank you for watching fine quick meal if you uh just want something fast thank you for watching see ya Welcome to the outro, my dudes. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. In this outro, I want to apologize for my videos taking longer than normal to come out. Uh, I'm 
gonna try to remedy that. Originally, I was trying for one video every three days, but then I got a job and the videos started being larger in scope, basically more editing. So obviously it's gonna take a little bit longer, but uh, recently I feel like it's been bad and uh, wasted a lot of time. So I'm gonna try to, to, to get them out faster. So the first thing, the first issue that I'm going to address is this. This is the third attempt to re-upload this video and get it to not have these little gaps here where it's frozen. It's not frozen locally, it's just frozen on YouTube. I didn't change anything and it takes, you know, probably two hours maybe per attempt because I've got to fully upload the video and let YouTube process it before I know that there's an issue. And I didn't, I, I have no idea what's causing the issue. And of course, during that time, it's using up either a ton of my internet or a ton of my computer processing power because of uh, I'm rendering. So huge pain. I'm going to try to fix that. I have no idea what the, the issue is or how to fix it, though. So who knows? That's number one. Number two is as the intros have uh, increased in scope in terms of editing, I think the jokes have gotten significantly worse and more contrived as I really try to reach for any semblance of, of humor I can do for uh, for the some of these stupid things. But finding like media to use with... Um, like you have a vision and you try to find media and get like good PNGs to use, very difficult. Well, the example here is I had to search for house to get this uh, this house view for for this that I was using. I wanted like a, a lemonade stand type thing. And I, I, I would rather had a more realistic stand here instead of the like clip art stand. But if we go over here to sidewalks, if you Google like sidewalks or something, you just get, you know, this view of sidewalks, like not the like top down ish along the sidewalk, not to the side, which is where I, I actually want. And you've got to be really creative in order to get the actual images you want. Not to mention that if you're going for like PNGs specifically that aren't stock images, very difficult. It takes forever to find good images a lot of the time. So I'm thinking of instead of doing what I'm doing right now, which is I, I look for images separately for each project, I create like a media folder. And as I grab images, I save them in sort of a, a global database. And I search there first when I need something. Anyway, that's my plan for increasing video speed. Hopefully it, it helps videos come out a little bit faster. At an absolute minimum, I watching. See ya.